So I'm here with Tuna at Amoeba Music Hollywood. Hi! We have a little bit of everything. Uh, I mean, we have like various genres of soul. And by the way, the artwork is amazing. Who did this? Thank you. Um, it's, it's kind of a collective. A lot of the cutout stuff I'll do. The hand-drawn stuff, a lot of the times it's Josh Taylor. He's one of the other guys that does 45s. Um, there's a few boxes left from old employees that used to work here. Michael yeah. Whitmore. So you have a lot of classics here. Beatles, uh, T-Rex, Mark Bolin, Bob Dylan, and uh, Elvis Costello and that. So are a lot of these reissues, are they older ones, like uh, used records? All the stuff in the boxes, it's all used. Um, all the new product is up top, that's all we have new. And everything in the boxes is all, all used product. So a lot of it is originals. Um, and obviously like some uh, reissues that have come over the buy counter. And what are the prices like, say, on the Bob Dylan section here? Oh, uh, we have like it goes from a dollar to nine. There's there's tons of a lot of things have been reissued too from the '80s because, like, you know, original presses of like Germs or Minor Threat are gonna yeah. be like you know in the four hundred dollar range. So like Discord's doing a lot of reissues and just, like Havoc is doing a lot of reissues um, to make them five ninety nine again. You know, but uh, there's a ton of new punk fans out right now that are just doing seven inches. Yeah. Well, usually it's like the progression. Well, now it's really popular to do cassettes. So it'll be like cassettes and then 7 inch and then LP is usually the progression they do. So. And comes with a download card typically. Yeah. yeah. Usually, yeah. Um, but they seem to. Usually they, they start out in smaller runs, so they'll do like 300, and if they sell out, and then usually another label will come in and be like, oh, we want to repress it. So it's not so much of a risk for the band. And it seems Record Store Day is sort of like an inspiration for a lot of labels and artists to press up seven inches, right? Yeah, totally. Which which can be kind of tough because so many things are coming out that sometimes the record plants get backed up. Right. So, um, I think a lot of the bigger labels have the upper hand because they kind of have more like, we need this now, you know. But the small, I do know like some friends tried to like put stuff out for Record Store Day. And some of them were successful, some were not just because the plants were backed up for Record Store Day. But um, yeah, I mean, it's it's busier than Christmas in here for Record Store Day. Like, I know it's non stop all day long. Right. And I like that you have the spindles here, the adapters as well, too. Yeah. You always need those. Oh, yeah. And then we have like. Uh, this is a new 45 case. Oh, a nice. DJ case, and it's got like two slats in it. A lot of buyers are DJs. Um, there are collectors. Um, like there's, there'll be like people who come in and be like, oh, my mom used to have that. Like it reminds me of her. But then there'll be a lot of DJs come in at 145. It's like it's been a big thing in uh, London, like especially like Northern Soul people, DJs to just DJ 45 only. Um, it's kind of made its way to New York, and now I think it's finally like LA crowd is finally being like, oh, I want to do all 45 sets. So. Speaking of which, where's the soul and funk R and B? All over here. So we have like modern soul R and B. Uh, Shopping the Northern Soul, the devil. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's funk, Motown. We got some disco up here. Well, I, w I would only think of disco associated with 12 inch singles, not oh, seven no, inch. Oh, we have so much disco. And yeah, then it's, it's pretty insane how much product we get. Yeah. Now with hip hop, you have the hip hop 45s. In the UK, they used to traditionally do more 45s than 12 inches over there. So are a lot of the ones you have in hip hop from the UK pressing. Uh, no, we. I actually rarely see imports. Um, this is our hip hop section. We hip hop in LA is going super strong, so it's always we are always needing hip hop 45s. Right. Um, they're, they don't really lose value too much. In fact, like they just keep going up and up and up. Um, so yeah, whenever I like fill this section, the next day it's empty again. So wow. like a lot of this stuff is new stuff. This is the only part where I'll mix new and used together, just because we don't have enough new stuff or used stuff to keep a box. So so there is a lot of new uh, hip hop seven inches coming out. Um yeah, kind of. Okay. Uh, Stone Star. I know. Out a lot yeah, of stuff. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, and they've been doing like. Box sets right. And stuff, so. That's a popular one, isn't it? The J yeah. Dilla, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then like the beat conductor and usually like when we we'll get Beatles picture discs, they sell really fast. Um, like some we get some whole seven inches in sometimes those sell really well. Uh, 
Queen, Seven Inches, and Freddie, Freddie Mercury. Picture discs does sell pretty well. Madonna, picture discs sell well. It depends. It goes, uh, I would say on average, the average price of the section would probably be $2.99 if you added everything up. Right. Like the average. Um, but it depends on genre. Like a lot of the 80s stuff, so just like 80s like pop and rock stuff down right. here, um, most of that stuff is $1.99 in those boxes. But if you go to like the Punky New Wave boxes, that stuff is more sought after. And you know, the average price of that might be like four, five, six dollars.